Out of the hundreds of questions I get from you guys monthly, some of those are, Romulo, what software do you use to edit your videos? Or what mic do you use to make your vlogs? Or how do you keep up with the cars that come in the board? So after receiving so many of those questions, I decided to make a full guide on how to make a poker vlog and give you guys personal insights that I learned throughout these 48 videos I've done so far. And definitely my first video is not even close to the quality of my 10th video, that is not even close to the quality of my 40th video. And hopefully I can help you not making the same mistakes I made throughout the way. So if you enjoyed this idea, make sure to hit the like on this video. Also subscribe to this channel. The mission of this channel is helping you become a better poker player, in this case, a better poker vlogger, and let's do this. But before we go to the content, I got a very special announcement to make. In a week from today, I'm gonna be launching my first ebook, The Profitable Poker Player. Depending on when you're watching this video, the link for my free ebook will be already available in the description below of this video. And I really believe you guys are gonna love it. And now let's get back to the content. I decided to divide this video into three main topics. One is my equipment, other is how to use my equipment, and the other I'm gonna cover poker insights and mistakes I made throughout the way. Because I definitely made a lot of mistakes throughout my journey that hopefully you guys won't have to make as well because of this video. So into my equipment is what you guys are seeing here. I made sure to put everything I use combined with this tripod that I'm gonna go into it later and i'm gonna first go with the essentials that are things that you will need to have in case you want to do a poker vlog the first thing you will need to have if you want to do a poker vlog is either a cell phone with a great camera that is this one that is recording that is an iphone 12 in my case or a good camera i personally rather a cell phone and one thing that i advise you to do is get a cell phone with a lot of space for storage because you will record a lot of hands and a lot of footage and combined with this cell phone, you will need something to make notations on the board and the cards that you had throughout your hands. Because the cell phone gets the footage, but the footage usually doesn't get, for example, what cards came in the board and what knives of the cards came in the board. So you either need to have a notebook like this to make notations, hopefully smaller than this, or you do it like I do. I have another cell phone because on this other cell phone, I can put the hints that happen and I can also read audiobooks that I usually read on here. You guys know that when you play live poker, let's say that you play 30% of the hands, 35% of the hands. So you have a lot of time to do other things. And out of this time that you have to do other things, you can do like putting the notations on what happened. I'm gonna make a video here so you see how do I make my own notations. And you can also do something productive of your time, like hearing audiobooks, like paying attention to the players at the table and etc. Another thing you will need to have is an editing software. You can either outsource this editing part to another person or you can do it like I do that I personally edit my own videos. And in my opinion, the best notebook you can have to edit your videos is the MacBook. In this case, it's a MacBook Pro. This is a great computer. I love this thing, like I can't live without it anymore. And the editing software I use is DaVinci Resolve, which is free. You can all download it for free and use it. I love it. It delivers everything I need and it's great. So that's the one I advise you to get. Another thing you will need to have is something to put the phone that you're gonna record things in the right angle. In my case, I use this thing that I personally bought and put it in the right direction. So I usually put my cell phone like this and it records everything. One thing that other vloggers use that might be a good option for you is like a pocket jack. I'm gonna put the image for you guys so you guys understand. This thing, I think it calls a lot of attention to you and I try not to call a lot of attention on me uh, simply because I don't want everybody to know I'm a poker vlogger. Like I usually go to the table to make profit too. So the less information they have about me, the better. And I rather this thing other than the pocket jacks, but you have the option to get the pocket jacks as well. Another thing you will need to have is a microphone. Even need to have a great microphone in the beginning. Like in my case, I had the iPhone microphone with cables and everything. 
and in the beginning I made a mistake of making on that phone and on this one what happens is on the editing software the audio goes monotone so what happens is that your audio goes only in one side of the airpods of well or what whatever you you are hearing that's a mistake I did one of my first vlogs were monotone with a horrible audio but that's actually part of your journey like one thing I would advise you to do is don't criticize so much yourself on your first vlogs because what happens is that is your first one so usually your first one is not gonna be as good what you should focus on is on delivering your best work and learning with your mistakes because the more vlogs you put out the better your work will be and that's natural and everybody goes through it after you're doing vlogs for longer or if you already have money to do it i would advise you to get a mic like blue yeti that is the one i use this is a mic i use to make videos right here that's the audio you are hearing is from this mic and also this is the mic i use to make poker vlogs one thing i advise you to do in case you buy this mic is to go on the internet and really put the settings the best way for you to really use the full potential of this bike because another mistake I made is on putting the settings the wrong way in a way that the audio was not that good and that's actually a waste because this mic is great and it provides you a great audio but if you don't know how to put the settings right that's what's gonna happen like the audio is not gonna be so good and that's not what you want another thing I had to buy and not necessarily you need to buy was another computer and I did that first because MacBook, uh, I usually watch the vlogs here and say what is happening here. So instead of putting all to this computer, I put it to this one that I already had it. Uh, when I play online poker, I use this one as well because I like to play with support softwares like Hand to Note or Poker Tracker and MacBook doesn't deliver a so good of a job with those ones. But MacBook is the best editing computer you can have. If I had to recommend you to purchase a notebook, I would definitely recommend MacBook, but you can definitely do it with other ones and it's up to you to decide the one that is best for your particular case. Another thing you will need to have is a portable charger. This one has four batteries on it. I usually take with a cable. So when I'm in the session and I need charger, I just use this and it went great for me. So this is one. I advise you to get get a big one don't get a, a portable charger that has only one battery or two get a big one so you can have more space for mistakes let's say like that let's say there's some days that I get out of my house 10 a.m. and I come back only 10 p.m. using the cell phone for 12 hours and 12 hours recording is a lot of battery so you need to have one of those and I highly recommend you to get a big one to solve your problem Another thing you definitely need to have is a hard drive, an external hard drive so you can put all your vlogs here because what happened to me at least is that I had a lot of footage, a lot. Even with the most space I could, it wasn't enough for all the footage I had. So I bought a hard drive that all the footage I make, I put it to this hard drive so it's safer here other than my cell phone. And man, this thing is worth a lot of money to me. It's impressive. One day I had an insight that the information that I had here was way more valuable than my notebook. So, okay, this is, let's say, $100 and this is, let's say, $1,300. But because of the information that was here, this was way more valuable. So information is so valuable, you know, like that was an insight I have that there's not a lot to do with this video, but it's crazy how something that is $100 because of the information I had here was worth way more than that. Another thing you will need to have, especially if you make not only poker vlogs, but videos is a tripod. And this one was a great one that I purchased. It's really portable, so it's really easy to, to take in your backpack and etc. As you can see, really small and great and it goes really high. I'm gonna show you guys here. It goes this height as you guys are seeing and that's enough for me. And it helped me a lot in Vegas when I did the Ask Poker Profit and etc. One thing that I would get if I could was a ring light with it 
because this one doesn't have a ring light but that's only if you wanna if you want the perfect thing you know but this one delivers me a great value and i highly recommend this one if you want a better one get one that is portable like this with a ring light that is gonna be better another thing i purchased that goes along with this is a bluetooth mic uh, i put it on this cell phone here and here i put this mic right here I put it like this and I turn it on and I can speak and the audio goes straight to the cell phone. It's not as good of an audio than this one. This one is better, but this one is portable, this one is Bluetooth and this one is great. I definitely recommend you to get one of those if you're doing videos in the street like I do. When I go to Vegas, I answer questions to you or when I go to whatever place I'm in the US, I just put this thing in the middle of the street, start recording myself with a good audio and answer questions for you guys or do whatever I want. So if you wanna do a video like this, I definitely recommend you to get one of those. Another thing that I purchased, but this one was not a good purchase, it was actually a mistake, was the Rayban Stories. I bought this right after it launched. In the beginning I put it and I started recording, now has no battery. But in the tables is not as good, you know, because when you got a sunglass like this in the table and you start recording, the light here shows that you are recording. So even though it's a good thing for me to have, the value I got in return was not so good. So I, I wouldn't recommend you to get this thing unless you have a lot of money left over and you just want to get a great thing. But I still think there are some things more important than this glass. And one of the things that I believe is more important is for you to get a, another camera, maybe a GoPro. And it's because when I'm in the table, this cell phone is recording, okay? This cell phone I'm using to make notations of the boards and of the details of the hands and etc. and anything I need to put. But what about if I want to make a video of some part of the casino with a lot of people moving that I can put it for an hour that part of the casino so in this hour that is recording I can transform this hour into let's say 10 seconds and it goes that effect that you see the casinos and the people moving around and etc I want to do that and I didn't do that back in the time because I didn't have another camera so uh, what I would advise you to do is maybe get an extra camera so you would have three cameras on you and that might sound exaggerating but if you want to do a good job you gotta try to do your best and i think by trying to do your best you need to have the best equipment you can of course if you're in the beginning you won't be able to buy everything and i don't even recommend you to do that but throughout your journey i definitely recommend you to keep investing on yourself to deliver a better and better job consistently so now I believe I covered everything from equipment. There's this one that is like you can move around and put on places you can. This one's a pretty good one. I didn't use it so often, but it's great for me to have it. And now I'm gonna go through how I believe is the best way to use all of those equipments. And one thing I would advise you to do is be a good multitasker. And what do I mean by that? Because when you're playing poker, you gotta focus on playing your A game. You gotta focus on being the best player you can because you don't wanna lose money. You wanna make money in the table. But while you do that, you also gotta focus on being the best vlogger you can and the best uh, guy to make notations you can. So you are gonna multitask and you gotta be focused on that. Because while in live poker, if you play only poker, you have a lot of time to do whatever you want because you usually play like 30% of your hands or even less or a little bit more. When you're vlogging, you don't have so much time left over. You have a lot of things to focus. So go to the table way more focused than you would go if you only play poker because otherwise you will lose money in the table or you will not do such a good job with footage. So go focus it on doing your best work and really get the best footage you can. Another thing I would advise you to do is as far as you get home, you already get your computer and you get all the footage you, you did, you made in your day and you gather all of that and you put it in a episode 
Of course, the episode is not gonna be perfect, but it's gonna have all the footage you wanna put it in that episode because this footage is like the first project of your vlog that you're gonna be able to work with and make a way better job in the end. Another advice I would give you is remember you are a vlogger. So start recording things of your life. Oh, you're gonna work out in the gym. Why not show you running in the gym or showing your life? Because in the beginning of the vlog, it's good for you to put a minute or two of things about you instead of going straight to poker. So maybe get a good footage of the city you are at or make an intro talking about something you want to talk. That's something I didn't make in the past and right now I will definitely make and hopefully you will make it and this video will help you not make the mistake I made in the past. So that's definitely something I would advise you to do. That's a mistake I made. Like in the beginning, I just went straight to poker and I didn't think, man, I should do an introduction. So think about your vlog as a whole introduction, finishing, and etc. Okay, now there is one issue that I would say most of the vloggers go through, if not all of them, which is some casinos, they don't allow you to record your hands. And what I do nowadays is if a casino tell me I can't vlog, I won't play at the casino because there are casinos that you are welcome to play inside. So what I would advise you to do is to play in the casinos you are welcome. And to be already aware, it's hard, okay? Half of the casinos you go, they don't allow you to record. Some people will decide not to vlog because of that, while other people would go through this difficulty and thrive over that. So I'll definitely advise you to keep in mind that any difficulty that you have in your vlogging career, let's say, uh, is an opportunity for you to go through that difficulty and thrive over that. Another thing that I would advise you to do if you start a vlog is think deeply and wisely on how will you differentiate yourself because there are a lot of people in this market already and if you just decide to make your vlog and your vlog is just one out of many you just not gonna grow and you're not gonna be successful unless you put in the work for a long time which I advise you to do as well but try always to differentiate yourself and to give your audience a reason why watching your vlog instead of watching other vlogs because if you don't provide that reason most likely you will fail or you will grow way slower than other vlogs so keep that in mind Okay, now let's say you have everything you need, you have all the equipment, you have all the right directions, you have everything you need. The last thing I would advise you to do is have fun throughout your journey because what I remember from me is like I was so focused on doing my job, doing my job that I was mad all the time, many times at least when I was making my vlogs because there are always challenges you know there are always people trying to screw you over there are people in the tables that are gonna say oh i don't want you to record and man i respect those people and i'm fine with that what i'm what was not fine was people trying to make my life harder and i didn't do nothing for them but instead of that just have fun uh have fun throughout the journey focus on what you need to do and don't get as mad as i got in some days when man some people didn't let me record and i was just tilted you know like i didn't like exploded with no one like oh we f you in or something like this but i remember to be mad i, I remember my, my time in vegas that some sessions uh there was a session that i got kicked out from the win because i couldn't record but guess what i went to resort world in the same day and had the biggest spot of my life had one of my favorite episodes in the day so have fun throughout your journey because man i really see in 20 years i can watch the episode i'm just mentioning you and i will laugh out of the things i was mad at that time so that's what i would advise you to do uh enjoy your journey uh don't take yourself so seriously uh because you're doing something that hopefully you like doing it and the more you enjoy the path the easier it's gonna be. I can say from my experience that it's definitely worth it. 
in the beginning, if you are a profitable player, you will leave some money in the table. I definitely left a lot of money in the beginning of the vlog and I'm still leaving money in the table right now because I still need to edit videos, I still am providing information that I'm a poker vlogger and then they ask, oh, what's your vlog? Poker Profit. Like, poker is a game of you gathering information, as much information you can and in the end you make the best decision you can. So in my opinion, the less information people have from you, the better. Or if they have information, let that information be false you know i don't try to fool nobody but if someone has the information let's say oh this guy sucks he's horrible at poker man i actually enjoy it because i know i don't suck i know i'm a good player i know i have a lot of results in the last 10 years i play so if someone thinks i'm bad that's great for me but if someone knows i'm good I don't like it. I rather people to think I'm bad. I rather people to think I'm way tighter than I am or to people to think I'm way more aggressive than I am. So understand that you will probably make less money inside the table in the beginning, but poker vlogging is a great way for you to make money on the internet, for you to have a big audience that you can help that audience improve in their lives or you can sell merch or you can sell whatever you think it makes sense for you to sell to your audience. So uh, make sure to understand that in the beginning you're gonna leave money in the table, but if you have patience enough through the long run, it probably will be worth it. So that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this video helped you to be able to make a better vlog from now on. Every content I put here, I try to do it in the most transparent way and in a way that really helps you in your lives. This was a video that I love to record. Now I'm gonna send it to my editor that he's the one who is gonna edit this. So one more advice to you, have a good editor to work with you. And that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to outsource my videos to this guy without losing quality and we're in the middle of this path so maybe in 2023 i can make another video with other experience i have from this last year i hope you guys enjoyed this video and see you next time